means business. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, in Holland, uh, unfortunately blown off the water temporarily. Check the radar, a bit of rain coming in, so I thought I'd catch up with a quick movie. Following on with the theme of um, transducers, battery boxes, bits and pieces, cabling. Um, this is my friend's boat out in Holland, Jan Bum from another Predator Guide. Um, so I just wanted to talk through some of the things that we both do on our boats, which might give you a little bit of an edge. So with your transducer, people don't realise that in the front of every single trolley motor, pretty much, there's actually a transducer in the head. So down here, there is a transducer right there. Right in here, this, as we can see here, is a transducer. Now, to enable that to work, when we look at this screen here, you can see that currently, this is literally nothing. Look at the amplitude scope. Excuse this, this is all in Dutch. Basically no source because the side scan comes off of the active imaging at the back. So, back here to where we were, if you put the trolley motor in, you will see straight away on this 2D screen, come up here now you can see that is now suddenly working so where it was static and it wasn't picking up that is working the advantage of this is the fact that when you're moving towards a feature so say you're talking about an underwater hub and you want to fish up onto the top of a plateau if you bring your boat forward on your main engine or on the trolley motor whichever you choose to do when you get to the foot of that but you're getting the reading from your rear transducer what will happen is the front of the boat will be far too over the feature and you will have spooked the fish whereas if you use your front trolley motor sonar as soon as you see the foot of that hump starting to spike you can start with a power spot lock hold position and then you can fish effectively up onto that hump and back down that ridge now I'll put the links in the description below as always, but these cables, to make that necessary, so from a mini coater to a low ramps, etc., you're going to need a little bit of cabling technology, but these are the cables that you need. So these two cables here is exactly what you need to adapt the cables that come with the mini coater and then transfer that back to the low ramps and convert and use the sonar that is inside it. Similar for motor guide and that, um, but yeah, these cables, two very short little cables. Um, I've got these from Natter's Boat Shop over here in the uh, Netherlands. Really helpful guy. Um, I'll put a link to his website below and then you can contact him or wherever and get these. But really sort of good top tip and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get out once this wind dies down. that beautiful fish here in the Netherlands Shimano tour testing out all of the new Yassi limited rods absolute cracking range soon to come stay tuned we're gonna get this little one back in oh, 51 and a half centimeters five pounder